Hello and welcome to ECE 252, Child, Family, and Community. My name is Lori Marmerstone and I will be your instructor for this course. I'm excited to have you all in class and again, welcome to the class. If you are watching this short video, then you made it to the screen that you see in front of you. And I just wanted to point out a couple quick things um, since you guys are just starting this course. Um, just to make sure that you're comfortable navigating everything that you'll need to go through um, in this um, course on Blackboard. This is a fully online course on Blackboard. Um, it's a three credit hour course. Even though it is an online course, that does not mean that it's less work or less time commitment than it would be going to a face-to-face -face class on campus. If you read through the announcement that I posted, I explained that in there as well. So again, if you didn't read that announcement, go through and read it again. Um, again, you do need to be prepared to commit as much time to the online class as you would sitting in a classroom at Harper. Um, the weekly learning modules is going to be one of the most important links on Blackboard that you need to be familiar with. You will access this each week to find out what your assignments are, what readings you have to do, what videos you have to watch. Um, what you're going to be needing to read in the textbook, and then the assignment that you'll submit each week. Each week we will be submitting what I'm calling content application assignments, and this is so that I am able to assess your knowledge and understanding of the material that you're reading and um, the videos that you're watching on Blackboard and being able to apply that understanding to um, an activity. Those are quick one page reflections and they are worth 15 points so it's not something that should take you a long time to complete but again it's just a way for me to track your understanding and make sure that you are um, understanding the material that is being presented in the course. Um, since you were able to find the orientation module I just wanted to go through a couple of the things here. We do have a orientation discussion board this week that just has you introduce yourself a little bit about your experience, why you're taking the course, what you're looking to um, get out of the course, and then I'm having you each post just a small photo within that discussion board forum for each of you, just so we can see who you are, because it's nice to put in a face to the name. Um, also, there's a link to the syllabus and the schedule. Please be sure to read through the syllabus in its entirety. Um, I have the course outline is within the syllabus itself, but I also have it here so you can just kind of glance and see what's due throughout the course of the semester. When you do read the syllabus, um, make sure to pay special attention to um, things like my contact information, when my conference hours, hours are, um, read through the, the outline of what topics are going to be covered in the class, how things will be assessed, your methods of evaluation, uh, total points, revision policies. Again, if you ever have any questions about anything, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact me. I want each and every one of you to be successful in this course. Um, and so if you're ever unsure about anything, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I will be posting videos like this throughout the semester um, just to give some additional information for bigger assignments and anything that I feel um, that you need information on. Make sure that you read through, there's a lot of information on the syllabus, so make sure you read through it all. But again, once you get to the course outline, make sure that you're aware of what's due from week to week. There is something due each week. And then read through the assignments and how those will be graded as well. There's information on how the discussion boards will be graded, so there shouldn't be any confusion as to how to earn points for those. Um, and then read through the bigger assignments too. There are three bigger assignments for this class. There's a community resource project. As these assignments get closer to their due date, I will post additional information to help clarify the expectations and how you need to submit those assignments and what needs to be included in those assignments. But I do want you to read through them at the beginning of the semester just to be aware of what's coming down the pipeline. There's also a mock parent-teacher conference that we do. Um, this is a online course and so one of the things that I will give as an option is to meet face to face to do our mock parent teacher conference and again as that date comes up which it isn't until towards um, the later part of the semester I'll give you more information about that as well um, 
And then the final big assignment is called the Culturally Responsive Practitioner, and this is a research paper. Um, it is kind of extensive, and it, it does include like a, most of the information that we're learning throughout the semester. So this is a nice culminating assignment just to re respond to, reflect, apply all of that information that you have been gaining throughout the course of the semester. Um, there used to be observation hours for this course, but because we revamped some of the assignments, there is no longer any observation hours for this course, so you are welcome. And then the final thing that I just wanted to point out for this orientation module is the syllabus quiz. Syllabus quiz, quick, easy 10 points. You can take the quiz as many times as you need to to score 10 points. True, false quiz, but what it is is it's just a way for you to kind of self-check, make sure that you're reading that syllabus, you're aware of certain key things. Um, even though instructors tell students to read the syllabus every semester, <laughs> and we, we try to stress the importance of that, we know that students don't tend to do that, and they wait until an assignment comes up, and then they skim through things. But I want you to be aware of the expectations of this course, where you can find certain resources at the college, what the course outline is, and what the assignments are and those expectations as well. Um, so please make sure that you read that, read through it a couple times, then take the quiz um, and get your first 10 points for the course. That should be really easy. Again, clicking on the weekly learning modules here, you will have everything for the entire semester right here at your fingertips. So every module for each week of this 16-week course is already on here. All the resources, all the articles, all the videos, all the assignment links. So you're free to work ahead. If you're a student that likes to do that, you are free to do that. What I want to say though is even though you may be working ahead, I probably won't be grading ahead. I'll probably stay on track with grading from week to week um, along with the course outline as well. So again, feel free to do that, but just know that even though you may be working a few weeks ahead, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'll be grading a few weeks ahead. Um, if Again, if you ever have any questions about anything, you're confused about something, you don't understand what's what's happening, um, I understand that, you know, circumstances out of your control happens, life happens sometimes, and so if there's ever anything that you need to talk to me about, um, please email me or call me, and I am more than happy to um, to work with you to make sure that you can successfully complete this course. Again, I want everyone to be successful. I want everyone that starts the course to finish the course, and I want it to be a great experience for everyone involved. So again, don't ever hesitate to contact me. Um, I know online learning can be tricky for some, and this is um, the only format that this course is offered for this semester. And so um, if you're a student that knows that online learning is um, a little bit difficult, it's a little hard for you to stay disciplined and on track, then again, please let me know that and I'll kind of help hold you accountable. So again, I want you to be successful. I'm here for you. Um, and so if you have any questions, just let me know. So that's all I have for now. Um, again, welcome to the class and let's have a wonderful semester. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.